G'day and welcome back to the channel. Now this is a video that I didn't want to have to make. I didn't think I'd have to make it. I thought most of my viewers were fairly intelligent and would read the description in the last video I put up where I was chasing some birds and understand what was going on. But no, I've had people email me and say, I've reported your video to YouTube because it's cruelty to animals and other people saying, oh, you're just pestering those birds. Oh, you're a mean person. You're a horrible human being. You Animal welfare will be on to you. Oh, people don't do their homework. Now, the first two birds that I chased away from the runway were plovers. Now, plovers have, on a number of occasions, been hit by aircraft using that airfield. Unfortunately, plovers, like most birds, not that smart. And if startled by an aircraft doing a touch and go, sometimes they will fly into the path of the aircraft and well, that's the end of the plover. And to be totally honest, it could be a major danger to the pilot of the aircraft or his passengers. So this is a human welfare as well as an animal welfare situation. So what did I do? I chased the plovers just away from the runway. I didn't pursue them. As soon as they were off the, the runway, the, the airfield hangar area, I turned back. I didn't chase them any further than was necessary to get them away from the danger area. That's what you do. It's animal welfare. It's looking after the animals. I do not want to see plovers sliced into pieces again, as I have in the past. And I do not want to see manned aircraft put at risk of bird strike. So that is something you do for the benefit of everybody. Now, the second animal was a magpie. And I understand that in some countries, like Australia, magpies are a protected species. You may not harm magpies, but in New Zealand, they've got a slightly different status. They're actually a pest species. And this is a page we're looking at at the moment from the Waikato Regional Council. Now, this, that's a council. I live in the catchment area of this council. So these are the rules that apply to us. And this is a page set up specifically about magpies. So let's see what it says. Um, it tells us a little bit about the magpies, and it says here that they are a pest. They're a pest. And let's have a look at um, what they say. Why is it a pest? Well, let's find out. Why is it a pest? Well, magpies were introduced to New Zealand in the 1860s from Australia to control pastoral insect pests. There were two subspecies, the uh, white-backed and the black-backed, and they've crossbred. So now there's just really one species, which is black and white. And magpies are widespread throughout the Waikato region where I'm based. They prefer open pasture areas with nearby tall trees for roosting and nesting. They're common around farmland, bush edges, gardens, and in urban areas including schools, parks, and airports where they are not welcome, trust me. And it says you may observe magpies swooping and dive bombing native birds such as the kereru or the tui. This could indicate these birds are trying to access a key feeding site. Magpies can affect native birds by excluding them from breeding territories. They may also prey on chicks and eggs to feed their young. Magpie control is likely to have significant benefits to the native bird population under these circumstances. And a lot of our native birds are endangered species. We need to protect those native birds, right? And then it says here... Um, on direction from an authorised person, all landowners occupies in the Waikato will control magpies and all nests on their property. It's an obligation. It's, it's a responsibility to control magpies in this area because they're a pest. You can't just let them run free. You have to control them. And on direction from an authorised person, upon complaint, all landowners occupies in the Waikato are responsible for controlling magpies and all nests on their property. Problem magpie nests on district council reserves and access ways should be reported to the appropriate council who should arrange for the nests to be destroyed, uh, along with any chicks and eggs, I suppose. Um, and so let's have a look, let's see how they control magpies. This is what the council will do to control magpies. The first thing they'll do is, well, one of the options they have is trapping them. It says uh, many traps are available, um, and these allow other birds to be released unharmed, but they won't be releasing the magpies unharmed because they are a pest species. Um, and what have we got? Um, shooting. Shooting and distress recordings. What they tend to do is play a distress recording because magpies will come to the aid of other magpies that are in distress. So um, I once developed a system for a vineyard, actually. I think it was a vineyard which was having a trouble with magpies. And we set up a distress call recording which would attract the magpies and then they would be shot. And that's what they do here. Um, playing the recordings of distressed magpies will attract magpies from up to one kilometre away. And uh, then they can be shot. Simple as that. Another way of doing it is poisoning. They can poison them. Now, in theory, you're supposed to use a narcotic poison which simply puts them to sleep so they can be humanely killed. But I do know that a lot of 
poison, uh, less humane poisons have been used. And here in New Zealand, you know, we use a lot of strange poisons. 1080, we use for possum control and things like that. So yeah, that's not a very, that's a pretty gruesome end. Um, so yeah, they are a pest species. You have an obligation to control them and the method of controlling them is to kill them. So wasn't my humane efforts to simply remove the magpie from the airfield, get him out of the area, wasn't that a better option than perhaps having him shot or trapped and killed or poisoned? Oh, really? Yes, I think it is. But nobody who complained did their damn homework. Nobody did a five minute Google to find out because let's have another look at why magpies are not really revered here in New Zealand. Um, get your Google out and Google search the images for Magpie Attack Australia and you will find a host of images of adults and children that have been attacked by magpies in Australia. And sometimes the injuries are quite significant. Let's have a look at this one. Look at these kids here. Let's see if we go to the news page. Two Perth children may be blinded after a ferocious magpie attack. Look at those poor kids. They were attacked by a magpie. And as that Waikato Council page said, um, these are very territorial birds. They will attack people. And there you go. Would you? What would you say if, if a family comes to the airfield or a family at the go-kart club or a family at the dirt bike club are attacked by magpies and the kids are blinded? What would you say? Oh, Mr. Simpson, you still shouldn't have chased away that magpie with your drone, even though you didn't come, you, you didn't harm it in any way, you didn't touch it. You were very careful to, to, to stay clear enough not to cause it any injury and it really didn't seem to be that bothered did it it re if it was really bothered it would have flown away it, but it didn't it hung around it really wasn't that scared of my drone so it didn't even put it to any real distress but no no people have got to complain you've got to complain and um it's even worse because this happened just a few weeks ago a baby dies in australia after magpie swooping attack let's read the story it says an australian family is mourning the loss of a five-month-old girl who died after her mother tried to protect her from a swooping magpie. Baby Mia was in her mother's arms when a magpie swooped at them in Brisbane's Gundaman Park on Sunday, causing her mother to trip and fall. Obviously, uh, fell on the baby. That is a tragedy. That is an utter tragedy um, caused by magpies, the territorial aggressive behaviour of magpies. And you're complaining because I was trying to usher it out of the area. Seriously, you people, you really do need to have an attitude readjustment. <laughs> I am trying to stop plovers from being chopped up by propellers and possibly injuring humans. I'm trying to clear magpies out of an area. I should have just called the council and had them shot. Should have just called them, had, called the council, had it shot. Is that what you'd rather me done? Because they might have wounded it, might have flapped around in agony for minutes until I'm able to issue a coup de grace. I didn't hurt the damn thing at all. So stop your whinging and your grizzling. I, it really makes me quite cross because people are so keen to be offended, so keen to be angry on behalf of nothing at all. It is the modern culture of everybody wants to be a victim. Well, I'm sorry, no victims in that video. And I know the vast majority of the people who've watched that video and, the, and virtually all of my subscribers saw it for what it was, saw it for what it was. No animals were harmed, unlike the official perspective on these things, who would have poisoned, killed or trapped it and disposed of it. No, it was simply an attempt to usher some birds out of the area. And if you're going to condemn me for that, well, there's no hope for you people, honestly. And fortunately, there was only a handful, but I had to make this video just to make it clear, because I'm sure there'll still be other people coming along who look at it and go, oh, you're a terrible person, Mr. Simpson. And if that's the case, maybe I am. Maybe I am, but I'm not as terrible as the alternatives, am I? Anyway, that's it. I've had a rant. I've got that off my chest. I'm so pleased about that. We're now here in New Zealand facing a level four lockdown because they've found a COVID case in the community. And to date, we've been COVID free. So I'll be sitting here behind my desk making more videos in the next day or so. So if you've got comments, if you think I'm wrong, by goodness, go down there to my private parts and have your say. Get stuck in. Rip me a new one by all means. But if you support my perspective on this and you're glad that I saved the birds from potentially imminent death, then say that too. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye for now.